Hey everybody, I'm Jason Levine with Harry Levine Insurance, and I'm here at The Whiskey on Restaurant Row in Southwest Orlando. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about insurance, but who really wants to hear about that? We're also gonna talk about burgers, cocktails, and why you need to come visit this Sand Lake Road hotspot. In front of us, we've got three cocktails. First, the Whiskey Old Fashioned. It's a heck of a creation using their own hand-selected barrel of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey and some great fixings. Then we've got a maple old fashioned, which just kicks things up a notch, dried out by actually using maple rye. And finally, a Texas mule, tried and true. So let's check out the whiskey old fashioned. It's a traditional old fashioned, except it's got some great ingredients in it. The whiskey works with a ton of different distilleries throughout the United States to hand select their own barrels of different handcrafted small batch whiskeys. This particular old fashioned uses Jack Daniels single barrel privately selected for the whiskey about two years ago, I believe. The Old Fashioned also uses a Filthy Cherry, which is a departure from your traditional maraschino, and it's amazing. Fantastic blend of bitters, a little rock candy, and a fabulous Tennessee whiskey. Next, we have a Knob Creek Maple Rye Old Fashioned with chocolate bitters. Why chocolate bitters? It gives a depth of flavor that it's just unbeatable. One thing I love about rye, and they are experts on that here at The Whiskey, is that it dries a drink out. So even if you've got your traditional sweetness, in a drink like this, you get a, a smoother, drier finish because of the properties of the rye whiskey that's used. Again, a filthy cherry. Again, a nice slice of citrus. What a killer drink, though. And now, let's go to a classic. The Texas Mule, and they do a Kentucky Mule here too that uses your favorite whiskey, bourbon, rye, whatever you'd like. The Texas Mule is pretty simple. Some ginger beer, some delicious vodka, and some lime. It's a classic drink. It's great for the summer, and it's great for hanging out and watching your favorite sports on TV, whenever that might be these days. I can almost see a baseball bat swinging and a long fly ball. But it's summer 2020. I'm imagining things. And these are three of my favorite cocktails here at the Whiskey. We've got three incredible appetizers off the Whiskey's menu in front of us. So we'll start on my left with their hummus plate. It actually happens to be the first thing I ever ate at the Whiskey. It's a house-made hummus served with carrots, celery, and some incredible pita. Let's check it out. Who said you couldn't have a healthy, refreshing app at a burger joint? Next, we've got the fried mushrooms here to my right. These fried mushrooms and the romulade sauce they come with are phenomenal. I'd recommend them to anybody. They're always crispy, never soggy, and they never disappoint. Mm. Finally, we've got the Whiskey's own Parmesan garlic chicken wings served with hot sauce, ranch, and blue cheese. It's phenomenal. You just can't beat it. Everything you could possibly want in a chicken wing texturally and more flavor than you could ever know what to do with. So let's talk burgers. These are three of my favorite sandwiches. And dare I say, it's really two burgers and maybe the best sockeye salmon sandwich of all time. So first, we have the BLD. The BLD is a classic bacon cheeseburger with a fried egg on top and these gorgeous Parmesan truffle fries. You can't beat it. One of the best parts about this burger is the runny yolk on the fried egg. You gotta check this out. Umptuous, rich deliciousness. 
makes this burger one of the most amazing things you can ever call lunch or dinner. And don't forget, with a fried egg, it could be breakfast too. Then we have one of the whiskey's really, really unique and special burgers, the salty pear. We have a stewed pear with a, a nice degree of saltiness, not too much, not too little to it, with a beautiful cheese sauce, bacon, the works, and again, some parm truffle fries. Yeah, gotta eat it. This one is my favorite. And by the way, that pear, if you take half home, is even better the next day. That is a magical burger. Finally, we have the salmon. An incredible sockeye salmon sandwich. Beautiful, beautiful aioli on there. Lettuce, arugula, at least it looks like arugula. These sweet potato fries will change your life. Beautifully cooked. Nice, full salmon flavor, but no funk. It's a phenomenal sandwich. Now, let's talk about the beautiful, beautiful brown spirits. These are three of my favorite spirits that they carry here at the whiskey. The first, Blade & Bow, a beautiful, beautiful Kentucky whiskey, followed by Pinhook, another less well-known, but really, really good, high-quality Kentucky whiskey. And then we have our outlier, ladies and gentlemen, a New York State bourbon. The distillery is in Brooklyn, but the water and the goods come from upstate. Widow Jane's 10-year aged New York bourbon. So let's dive in. First, we'll talk about Blade and Bow. Blade and Blow is a beautiful, beautiful iteration of a Kentucky whiskey. I get corn, it's smooth, and you'll note a deep, deep brown color, which comes through with a richness that it's just an easy to drink bourbon. First time I had it was here at the whiskey, when the front of the house manager said, I've got something I want you to try. Well, here we are, still loving the Blade and Bow. This producer names every single one of their bourbons after a Kentucky racehorse. It's a pretty cool concept. Nay, even a little cliche perhaps for a Kentucky producer, but they do a heck of a job. Let's check out this pin hook. It has a very, very nice finish, and it's an easy drinking bourbon. It's a bourbon that you could sit down responsibly and sip for quite some time. It just has none of the, the harshness or, or forwardness, if you will, but all of the beautiful nuances and, and subtle floral notes that really make you want to keep coming back for more. And finally, one of my all-time favorites is this Widow Jane Tenure. This Widow Jane Tenure is rich, umptuous, and, and just a masterpiece. And again, two bottles from Kentucky, one bottle from New York, it's a masterpiece, guys. So smooth, so rich, so easy to drink. Widow Jane is what I pour when I want to sit down to wind down an evening, maybe watch a TV show, maybe play a quick board game or have a conversation with my wife, and just sip on a little something until it's time to put my head on the pillow. So here we are at the whiskey where they have hundreds of bottles in stock. But these are three of the best, and I highly recommend that you come down here to Sand Lake Road, check them out, and then come say hi to us upstairs at Harry Levine Insurance. It's just a quick trip straight through the roof. Thanks a lot, and don't forget to hit subscribe to the Harry Levine Insurance YouTube channel.